All right. <sighs> Got my first filthy on the Carlos. Uh, uh, uh. Look at that. What you think about that? On Carlos's gaff. Woo Thanks, Carlos. Got a nice filthy here. Hello, my name is Carlos. I'm a good friend of TLA and Mu at Fishing 24-7 TUI. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a fishing gaff. And I wanted to give you guys the step. So we're gonna make a gaff starting from the bamboo, like raw bamboo. And then the end powder is gonna look like this. But the primary ingredients or material you're gonna need are on this table right here. So you're gonna need a bamboo, you're gonna need a paracord, a gaff hook, and this is uh, usually like a tree art gaff hook, blue tape, scissors, epoxy, a lighter, some glove, and a measuring tape. When you buy the bamboo, you wanna make sure that the uh, smaller end is at least three quarter to one inch in diameter. And when you select the bamboo, make sure there's no fractures or uh, cuts in it. For example, this one already had a cut in it, so you can see it's gonna break pretty easily. For a fishing gaff or boat, you want four foot. For a, a kayak fishing gaff, you want three foot. So this one is cut for four foot, but I have some other ones that are three foot. So I already cut it, so I'm gonna show you now how to sand them, weatherproof them. And then we're gonna come back to the table and then actually do the gaff. sand the bamboo so I have motor sander so what I just do and if you say you want to sand it because when you put the waterproofing you, you can't paint it on this glossy thing you have to get to the natural wood so it's good idea to wear a mask because you don't want to smell the uh, the bamboo dust so see come it off I sanded the bamboo, now I'm gonna waterproof it. Uh, I get this brand burr. Uh, shake it a little bit because, you know, it depends how long you had it. Uh, and then I open it up. What I like to do is uh, I like to put two layers uh, and then leave it all, uh, like 24 hours. So I just go here. <laughs> so you just basically uh, painting the bamboo to make it, you know, kind of like weather, waterproof and stuff like that. Uh, and it should dry up, you know, like about 24, 48 hours later. You wear the mask when it was sanding, I'm just keeping it on for the, this step. Okay, we already sanded the bamboo and waterproofed it. And after you waterproof it, you have to leave it overnight, at least 24 hours for let, let it dry. So this, you know, is already dry, so we're ready to go to the next step, which is attaching the gaff hook to it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to attach the gaff hook to the bamboo. What you first do is you get the gaff hook right here, and if you notice the gaff hook, there's a little bit of curvature right here. You want that curvature to hit the end of the bamboo. So you want right over there, and then you mark it with a Sharpie right over here, that's the little sharpie. So now I'm gonna drill the hole to attach the bamboo. Go here, and you make a small little hole. It's gonna go right over here. Just push it down a little bit. And you can see the gaff is attached to the bamboo pretty straight now. And what I usually do uh, before I go to the next step, I just put a blue tape so it stays in place. Okay, I put a little blue tape and it stays in place. So we have it right here. Okay, we're gonna show you in the next step. Okay, uh, well now we're ready to epoxy the, the gaff hook to the bamboo. This is the epoxy that I use. It's a Deblon, or you could also use a Gorilla epoxy. They're both about the same. The one thing about using an epoxy, you gotta make sure you wear glove, you wear mask, and you have a lot of good ventilation because it's pretty strong, so you don't See? want to... So what you do is take out the cap and you press this little lever 
So the same amount of epoxy comes out. One bamboo, you don't need that much. You just need a little bit. So I'm just going to do here. And then I stop. I take a chopstick and I mix it. I mix the epoxy together. So I use my chopstick and I take a little piece of it right here and then apply it right over here. I want to get the part where the, I drill the original hole and also epoxy all the way to the top. And again, the reason we're doing this is because we don't want the gas to move left and right. And the epoxy is pretty strong. Uh, once you let it set for four, 24 hours, it's not going to move. It's super, super strong. Okay, I'm ready to paracord. So what I usually do is I take the end of the paracord and I put it like in a slight angle uh, and then I put a blue tape on it. Uh, now, like I said earlier, I want to go like about, you know, the same length as the, the hook. But you, that's an estimate. You could go past it if you want. So once you uh, put the uh, blue tape in it, you start wrapping it in a kind of like in a staircase pattern. So you go like this, like this, uh, a little more. Wait, now I'm going from the, this part towards the hook. So as you can see, uh, it's kind of overlaying it, which is what you want to do to give it a little grippiness. Uh, so mm -hmm. this part would probably take about, you know, like a minute to get back to all the way to the top. So once I get to the top, I'll show you how to close the loop. So we're getting close to the end of the uh, bamboo and I've almost finished the paracord. So to finish it off, we have about three or more, four or more wrap at the end. So what I do is I attach a separate string and I put it right over here. Uh, once I attach the, sec the second string, I'm going to pull the original string down. So that's going to close the loop. What I usually do, I put it right next to the gaff hook because in the gaff hook area, there's a little gap right there. So it'll be easy to pull it. Okay, uh, I got the string uh, by pulling the other string through. So you can see that this one's hanging. So that's how you close the loop. So the last step in this process, you burn it uh, near the end right here, and then you use a lighter and burn this. Once you burn it, you'll be able to seal it, seal it off over here. Finished wrapping the whole uh, gaff right here and looks pretty nice. The last thing to do here is to epoxy the paracord. If we epoxy it, it's not going to unravel or at least it's going to be stronger for a longer time. So what I usually do is uh, I'm already ready. Uh, I'm just going to mix my epoxy, use a brush and, you know, brush, especially the top part, brush it with uh, the epoxy. The bottom part, I just do a little bit. Uh, the, basically the area where I kind of cut it and a little bit in here so it doesn't come off. Okay. See how this is already epoxy and notice how shiny it is? So this is not gonna come off anymore because it's super strong. And I put extra epoxy in the top part right here because I don't want the gaff hook to come off at all. So this is like super strong. When it gets into salt water, it's gonna last a lot longer when you epoxy it. Okay, we finished with our gaff. Now I'm just gonna put a tubing protector to the hook right here so you don't poke yourself when you're fishing. But a way to do this, uh, you just measure the distance from here to here and then give an extra like half an inch at the end and then you cut it. So it's gonna be around here and then I cut it. 
So you take an exacto knife and you cut it right here, so you'll be able to move it like this. And once you have that cut, you'll be able to insert it into the gaff. You put it in this way, and then you put the, the top part over here, and then you have your gaff hook protector right there. Okay, so you're done. We're done. We basically, uh, I show you guys how to make your own gaff hook. The material itself is probably about $20, $25. The actual working time is probably like an hour and a half. You do have to wait maybe like a day for the epoxy to dry up and an extra day for the uh, weatherproofing to dry up. But the actual work in itself is not that long. You have your own gaff, personalize your own gaff, which is great. You know, the only next thing to do is go catch a big fish and show, to you, show off to your friends. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure to smash the like button, share, and subscribe. You can also find my tutorials blog at www.thelastanchovy.com. So good luck, tight lines, TLA out.